In this video, we're going to look at some different options, how you can mass update your product information inside of InRiver. So I'm going to start with doing a query here in the query editor to find all the products in the category jackets that are ready for web publishing here. So we're going to select the jackets here. I can search on completeness rules, so I will find the one that are web ready. So when I execute that search, I get 37 products here. And I can then select them one and one if I would like, but I can also select the whole result here. And one way of doing mass updates here is to use the mass update wizard. And you find it here in the context menu of the work area. So choosing mass update, I can then select the attributes that I want to to set. In this case, I want to say what market I want to sell these jackets on. And also I want to change the approval status to true. So in the next step, I will specify these values. In this case, I want to sell these ones in Norway, Sweden and Denmark. And I want to set approved to true on all of these jackets. So in the last step here, we execute this wizard and it will go in and update and validate all the selected products. So this is one way of how you can work inside of the Enrich app doing mass updates. So now I'll close and if we look into one of, of these products here, we look into the details for instance, we will be able to see that this is sold in Denmark, Sweden and Norway like this. And then also that it is approved. So all of these has been updated. If you have Office 365, you can download um, in River add-in. So you can access all your work areas from inside Excel directly. So here you can do updates. Uh, for instance, if I would like to change the category here. So its current value is jacket. Now maybe I want it to be jackets here. Um, I then will save and as you can see I get an error message here. So in the marketing model we have set certain criteria. In this case for categories we have only certain values that are permitted and, and here we broke those rules so I'm not allowed to do this change. So I will, I will change it back. But then I want to change a few of the pro, um, product names here. It should not be in uh, plural, uh, but here I want uh, blazer in cotton premium and so on. And I could go on here doing changes. And when I save, it will directly be saved into the in River database. So this is a way of, of being able to access the information from in River directly from within Excel without having to do imports and exports. But you can, of course, do exports and imports, and, and this can be also useful in some cases. So for instance, here, if I would like to do an export to Excel, I can just in the same way select the products. I can choose export. And a good thing here is that you can control what content you export. So maybe I don't want all the languages to be exported for the language specific fields. Maybe I also want to say that certain fields are not relevant here. I might not need the industry or the market or the status here because I want to work with a short description and long description perhaps. Uh, I can then here save my export settings and then export this. And I will get this in an Excel sheet and as you can see all these products are approved. Maybe if I want to change this back I can do an update here like this. And when I save it, I can then import it very easily into InRiver. So going into the import wizard here in the Enrich app, I can click import. I will then select uh, the file. So here's the file that we exported. Next, I can map it, but because this was an export from InRiver, it's already mapped correctly with the different column names. I will then do the validation. And here we see that we have 24 entities that will be updated. Those were the ones that I changed the value from 
true to false and the other ones I didn't touch so they will be ignored and in the next step here we actually import the updated values so as you can see this is also a very quick way of working with mass updates so here you do an export and import but it's very fast to do and easy so this was three different ways that you can work with mass updates with InRiver.